Hi, this is Lynn Dye. Today we're going to look at two different ways to delete some things from your hard drive to make room and really just clean things up to make them run faster. The first way I'm going to show you is, is kind of a newer way, something you may not have seen before, and you get to it by clicking on your window in the lower right and going to settings. And I've already got it up. And we're going to be looking at the storage area. And we can see here that this tells me how much space I've used and how much total I have. And the storage sense is something you can turn off or on. And this will help you clean up some temporary files and things in your hard drive. So first of all, let's go see what's on this PC. And it gives you a breakdown by category of what, how many gigs or megs, whatever you have in these categories. So it takes a minute to think about it. You can see it's thinking, but these are pretty much my numbers. You can also click on one thing and it'll take you to look at those files in that area. And we see that this is taking a minute. So you can also click on that and it'll view documents. It'll just, it's just like going to Windows Explorer. And if you actually wanted to manage some things, then you could do it from there if you want to delete things or move things around. But I'd rather do that from Explorer. And then we use this arrow to go back. And we're going to go back again because we really want to look at storage sense. This is where we go in and we can get things cleaned up. So let's click on that. And I can see I've already turned these two on, these two features on. So temporary files and files in the recycle bin that have been there for over 30 days. And it says they've already cleaned up 3.39 gigs in the past month. And you just click that to clean it now and it probably won't have much to do since um, yeah, only 976K because I've been practicing with this. So that is one way that you can clean up your storage. The, uh, the kind of the way that's been around a long time is this disk cleanup app. And I think it's a bit quicker to deal with than using, than going to your settings, coming over to here and going to storage, uh, because the disk cleaner actually has more options on it. And I think it's just a little bit quicker. So here it's come up and here's where you can scroll and choose what you want to delete. Also, if you when you when you get your Windows 10 creators update or if you're listening to this later, any other major updates, you'll also see in this list that there's going to be a temporary file, a temporary a huge temporary file is made of your old Windows installation when you upgrade do a major upgrade like that. So after 30 days, Windows will automatically delete it. But if you don't want to wait that long, if you like your update, you can just come over here and click and delete it. And that's another kind of nice option that's in here. So you can say clean up files and it's just going to do it like that. And when it's done, it just gives you another little report and that is the second way to clean your disk. I usually do this oh, at least once a week because it seems like I'm, well, I'm on my computer all day long. I have multiple tabs, multiple browsers open, and doing this just seems to make things run a lot faster. So I'll, I'll clean the disk and then, uh, then I'll reboot and things seem to run a lot faster. Well, I hope that was helpful. Leave a comment or please subscribe to my channel if this is the first time you've been by. Thanks so much.